Good morning, everybody. Rose Thorne here. Today, I'm doing a different kind of video for my channel. Those of you that are on my channel, you know that I'm a dumpster diver, and I've been diving for over 10 years. I don't dive at retail shops. I dive residential, which means I stay within my neighborhood, and I've been in the same neighborhood for about five or six years. Over the years, I found a lot of wonderful, interesting items, including clothing. So I wanted to do a video today showcasing some of the clothing that I have found while dumpster diving. And maybe I can inspire some of you to maybe go dumpster diving yourselves or at least give it a thought. So since it's February and since it's still cold, I thought what better item to start off this series of me showcasing things that I have found than to show off my collection of jackets and also my collection of the, the kimonos that you use during the summertime when you want to go to the beach or you want something to slip on over a t-shirt and jeans. So I actually have a clothing rack full of clothing that I want to showcase to you guys. And by the way, the clothing rack that the clothes are on, I just found that this morning while diving. Somebody put out the clothing rack. It was not put together. And I found the clothing rack and I brought it home and put it together. All the pieces were there. So not only is the clothing I'm about to show you completely free, and I got it from diving, but the clothing rack that the clothing is hanging on was also for free. So let me just go ahead and pull the clothing rack over here and show you guys what I got. I got to get this chair out of the way. Move hooker. All right. This is a big rag and there's lots and lots of clothing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. All of that. There's very limited space over here. So what to do, what to do first. We're going to have so little clothing, I mean, so little space to work with. I'm going to go ahead and put the rack. You guys have just seen the rack, right? We got two levels here. And I'm going to go ahead, actually, and put that right there so you guys can see better. Just trying to get, the rack is so big. <laughs> so let's start with the jackets first. So I don't know if you guys can see. This is actually a black suede leather jacket with the fringe. It's from Forever 21 plus size. This is an XL. I actually found this jacket. I was walking past a bin that was actually uh, behind a gate, and I managed to pull it out via my, uh, with my grabber. Let me get my hair out of the way. Long hair can be a pain in the butt sometimes. This thing isn't really, really tight. All right, you. <laughs> Experiencing technical difficulty. Please stand by. All right. This thing is mad tight. All right. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Don't worry. Ah. So I know it's black and I know it's hard to see, but that's the black suede jacket. See, as you can see, it fits. I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Remember, all the items that I'm showing you didn't cost me anything except for a few minutes of my time. All I did was just go walk around my neighborhood and pick stuff off. Uh, from the bins. Next we have, let's see, look how pretty this fringed blue sweater. Isn't it nice? You got the buttons. I've worn this more than a few times. It's very, very comfortable. I forget who it's by. I usually take the tags off of things when I buy them because I don't know about you guys, but tags bug me. Tags absolutely bug me. I can't stand them. They itch at my, they make my skin itch. So, got this fringe sweater. What do you think? <laughs> nice and comfy on a day like today when it's not extremely cold outside for me in California, but it's still chilly. Something like this is really comfortable. I'm always on the lookout for a nice, comfortable sweater, nice, cozy sweater, or a jacket that you just can just curl up in 
can watch Netflix and just maybe fall asleep. <laughs> that kind of a jacket. We also have this. This is more, this isn't really a winter jacket. It's more like something you throw on over after being at the beach or you throw on over your bathing suit, but it was in my jacket collection, so I thought I'd bring it out anyway. This is by Pronto. And let's see if I can put, there we go. So like there's, I, I have found so much clothing dumpster diving, it's ridiculous. I mean, I have to really watch what I bring home anymore because I'm running out of space, literally like running out of space. There we go. So a nice, comfy, sort of light sweater, if you will. We got some really good stuff here. Trust me, you guys be like, yeah, you got that out of the bin? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know, diving retail, uh, residential is different than diving at stores. I mean, because you dive residential, then people are always throwing things away or, or you've got landlords that when people leave, they leave stuff behind. There's no telling what you'll find. So over here we have this awesome, I want to say an army type jacket or a safari jacket. I've always wanted one and somebody threw one away. Does this have a tag? Uh, it just says eight. Oh, it does have a tag. It says divided. So, you know, something cozy. My long hair is becoming a problem with this. <laughs> you know, something cozy. Nothing wrong with the jacket at all. It was practically brand new when, when I found it. I mean, it even smelled brand new like nobody had ever worn it. So I thought I'd bring it home and give it a good home. You know, residential diving, it's it's always it's always a crapshoot. Sometimes you'll find a lot of things, sometimes you'll find nothing for weeks at a time, and then boom, you find a whole bunch of things. Oh, if there was ever a jacket that you want to cuddle up in and just keep on you all the time, it would be this one. It's so comfy. Doesn't it look comfy? <laughs> it's by Exhilaration. It's a size large. Uh, there we go. Let me see if I can back up here. You see, it's one of those big, bulky jackets that, you know, it's not meant to be sexy. It's just not. Me it's just meant to be comfy. <laughs> Something you can just curl up in when you feel a bit cold. I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm taking it home. That looks comfy to me. Let's see. Okay, now we have something very pretty and unique. When I saw this jacket, I'm like, oh my goodness, why did people throw that away? It is so pretty, look. It's a denim jacket with roses all over it. And considering how my handle is Rose Thorn, how appropriate is that? <laughs> so, how does it fit? How does it fit? I'm not pulling my hair out because I have long hair and we're just not going to deal with all that mess. But, you see? Oh, there we go. Put that down, put down the collar. There we are. And yes, so it fits. It fits. Oh, that the, the arms are a little long. I got to roll up the, the, the sleeves a little bit, but it does fit. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with it. It's brand new, practically. And this is really pretty over a blouse and jeans or skirts or whatever you feel. Put this away. I mean, like, my, my collection of clothing just from diving is vast. I'm, that's why I'm going to have to do a series of videos to show you guys everything because there's just so much. 
I'm just starting out with the jackets and the uh, kimonos, but believe me, there's a whole lot more to actually do into a series. This is awesome. I love this. Why would anybody get rid of something this cute? I don't know. But I got it for free. <laughs> you know, the beautiful thing about dumpster diving and finding clothing or shoes is that if you find something and it's not quite what you want, you're always free to, uh, to fix it up. You know what I mean? You're always free to fix it up. My hair is pulling on the jacket. Sorry. <laughs> Is a little tight. My hair is making it even tighter, but so we've got a nice cute jacket to wear out. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it nice? It's a little on the small side, but that's because my hair is on the inside. I'm not pulling it out. I want it to be a little, a little more loose. But yeah, a nice pretty, I don't know if it's real leather or pleather, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's still a really cute jacket. Speaking of leather jackets, got another one. This was a, this is not real leather. It's I can tell it's pleather, but still, you know, and there's nothing like a leather-looking jacket for your wardrobe. You can do a lot with it. You can pair it with a scarf or a hoodie or a denim vest, whatever you feel like. Let's see, go. Hmm. What do you think? My arms are always too short for jackets. <laughs> I always have to end up rolling up the sleeves. I don't know why I'm just so short. Anyway, so we've got ourselves a pleather type of jacket. And was this by anybody? We have, by for, again, Forever 21. Now I do find a lot of Forever 21 stuff. And I find so much in the way of clothing when I'm diving and a lot of the stuff I can't bring home because I don't have a use for it or I don't know of anybody that have a use for it. Like I see a lot of kids clothes, believe it or not, like tons and tons of kids clothes and I don't have a child. I don't know of anybody else that would take the clothes if I got the clothes for them. So I have to leave them behind and just pray that somebody else will come along and get them and they won't be wasted. You guys have seen me wear this during the lives. This is my little cozy jacket. <laughs> you guys have seen me wear it. All right, so we're gonna take this off the hanger. As you guys can see, I've got plenty of jackets and stuff for winter. You know, and the cool thing is, I didn't pay for none of them. All I did was just take them out of the bin, wash them really well, and now they're mine. So. Here we go. <sighs> Doesn't it look cozy? It is. <laughs> it's perfect. You know, every person should have at least one warm, cozy, fuzzy sweater type of jacket in their wardrobe. You know, for those moments you just need to relax and it's chilly outside and you want to chill inside with a bowl of hot chili and some crackers, watch some Netflix, Drink some hot cocoa. This is that kind of jacket. Put that back. Come on, Mr. Sweater, let's go. Ah. I'm sure a lot of you are like, my goodness, you got a lot of clothing from dumpster diving. You're right, I do have a lot of clothing from dumpster diving. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Oh. I know this is going to be hard to see because it's black, but I love soft, fuzzy sweaters that feel like silk, and this one does. I know it's hard to see on camera because it's so, the light is just blinding in here, but I've been looking for a, like a black sweater that I can wear with just about anything, and I found one for free. This one's kind of a bat wing type of sweater. It's messing me up right now. <laughs> Where in the world? There it is. 
pull this out. Come on. There we go. I know you guys can't really see it. But there we go. Nice and cozy sweater to wear during the cold months. I'll just go ahead and put that on the bed. Now, that was the winter stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I can wear during the warmer months of the year. Now, any of you that are out there, you're you're a person and you love to wear those really pretty summery kimonos, like the kimono tops over like say a tank top and pair that with some jeans and a black felt hat. I've got a whole collection of them as you can see right here. And every single one I'm going to show to you, they came from dumpster diving. I did not pay for them. I've, I've so loved the whole silky, flowery, floral, uh, feminine kimono thing over the, uh, over the t-shirts and I've got a whole bunch like here's one it's plain but you know what you can pair this with a lot of stuff I've got some really fancy ones in in my collection too like this one. Oh, come on let go okay so just so you guys can see the detail look how pretty this is look isn't that gorgeous can you just imagine that while wearing it? Got lots of very pretty flowery detail. All and this is this is a long one too. <laughs> this is like super long. Ah, am I getting it? There we go. Sometimes it's hard to know if your arms are in the holes or not. Ugh. I know it's black and I know it's hard to see, but you guys can just see for yourselves. I know the lighting in here is not the best, but something to slip on over shorts and a t-shirt or shorts and a pair of jeans or even a skirt. You can pair this. Like I've got, I've got so many kimonos, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> And you can always use a, use the kimonos, not just for going out, but you can also use them for what they were originally intended for, which is, you know, putting on over yourself after your bath. So this one is a bit, I love the floral ones. I just told you guys that. We've got the floral ones. Isn't it cute? Show you guys what this looks like. There. All I need is a black felt hat and I'd be good to go. <laughs> what do you think? Nice? Like I don't have a black felt hat, so we're just going to have to wing it. But yeah, I found this while diving. I forgot exactly when I found it, but I was very happy to add it to my collection of kimono type boho tops. I mean, for those that don't know, I am so into the boho gypsy type fashion. I love the long flowing gypsy skirts. Now, anything very flowing, very loose, feminine, I'm all about it. Anything that's very relaxing and comforting to have on, I'm just, I'm there. I'm so there. <laughs> What else do we have here? Oh, come on, let go. This one's really pretty. Look at this. We got the fringe happening. We got the floral happening. This is by Mix It. This is one size, so I guess it's one size fits all. But look how pretty this is. Look how absolutely pretty this is. Oh. Let's see how it looks on. I can't wait for things to start warming up so I can start wearing this stuff. You know, what's weird about dumpster diving is that I have noticed that you'll find a lot of off-season items in the bin. Like, say, during the summertime, a lot of 
people will get rid of all their winter clothes. And that if you find wintry items, you got to wait until the seasons change to use the wintry items that you find. And the same thing with winter. A lot of people will throw away all their summery stuff. <laughs> and you got to wait till summer to actually use it. But here we go. Isn't that cute? Really, really pretty. Got it for free. put this back on the hanger real quick because there's a lot of stuff here it's going to take me a minute to put it back into the closet when I'm done here <laughs> okay we got some more black items but I think I'll skip those because you guys might have, have trouble uh, seeing them we got this little tropical floral kimono just giving you guys a good look you know, another item that I find a lot of when I'm dumpster diving is scarves. I've got a massive, out of control, beautiful scarf collection. <laughs> We're talking drawers and drawers full of scarves. I love scarves. I love the uh, shawls, the wraps. Love them. And I just, my collection of them is just completely out of freaking control. <laughs> but whenever I find a pretty one, I just can't leave it in the bin. So again, we've got something to wear for summertime. And I hope you guys are enjoying the little fashion show of dumpster dived items. And this is not going to be the only video that I do like this. I'm just choosing to showcase the jackets and the, the kimono robes right now. This one's really pretty. It's like a silk burnout type of situation. And you know what? I've seen these on eBay for a lot of money. If you can look, go on eBay, that they're they're not exactly cheap. I've had my eye on a few on eBay that I liked, but they were just a bit pricey for me. So wouldn't you know? The dumpster gods heard my my. Uh, my thoughts <laughs> and they gave me one for free so we have this what do you think something nice and loose and casual to put on over jeans and whatever else I feel If you're a dumpster diver and you dive for a long enough period of time, sometimes you find so much that after a while you have to ask yourself, do I really need that? <laughs> do I really have space for that? Uh, because you know, you'll get so much that you can't possibly keep up. <laughs> you're going to run out of room. This one's cute. Look at this, ladies. Ah, it's coming off the hanger. So, just to give you an idea of the pattern and everything, I found this and I was in love and I'm like, I love it. It's so colorful. It's so fun. I'm so mad that it's cold outside and I can't wear it right now, but I can wear it later. Can you just imagine this with, you know, like a pair of heels, some leggings or skinny jeans, and maybe a top hat? Nice. Hope you guys aren't bored yet, but I wanted to show you guys what I found. Just to give you an idea of the kind of things that people throw into the garbage it's not all just like bio waste I mean, you could find quite a bit of everything in the garbage this i saw this and i'm like oh look how cute it is look how absolutely cute if i can find the top <laughs> okay 
So this is what we got going on. Look. <gasps> so, you know, there's where I live at, there are quite a few buildings beside the building that where I live at. And sometimes people from other buildings, for whatever reason, they throw things into our trash. And that's where I found this. This absolutely gorgeous uh, throw, kimono robe. I am in love. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, okay. Okay, hair. Get out of the way. <laughs> so. What do you think? It's so loose and it's so comfortable. This is something you could wear with just about anything. But I've seen all the kimono robes that I've seen on eBay. They look very similar to the ones that I'm showing you guys. They're like 15, 20, 35 uh, dollars a piece. Okay, this one was made by Woven Heart for those who are interested. Maybe you want to go check out the brand and see if you can't find something very similar for yourselves. But it's by Woven Heart. So look how pretty that is. Oh, God. <laughs> Trying not to knock things off the hangers here. We're almost done. Loving it. It looks, it looks so vintage, doesn't it? It looks almost vintage. I love the pastel colors. It's so incredibly cute. So incredibly cute. Back up, back up, back up. How to deal with a bed that's in my way. <laughs> What do you think? Isn't this beautiful? I saw it and I thought, how pretty. How could anybody throw something like that away? But whoever threw it away, thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll put it in my wardrobe. Oop. What's better than looking pretty? Looking pretty and not having to spend money. <laughs> Let somebody else spend their money. Don't spend your own. We also have this one. This is something you could easily throw over a pair of jeans. I'm not going to put it on because it's dark and the darker colors are barely showing up on camera. We also have this one, loving the floral. Hello, Rose Thorn. <laughs> so you gotta know that I love a good good uh, kimono top with roses on it. And we have one last one to go to. And I'm so loving the purple. Let's see where, hold on. These things wanna do what they wanna do. They're going rogue on me. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna get our stuff together here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so check this one out. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Isn't that nice? I'm sorry for the lighting guys, but it seems kind of bright in here. It's because I needed the light to be bright to show you guys the uh, the clothing. I didn't know if the darker light would get it done. Okay. Oops. So that was it for the uh, the dumpster dive lookbook of sorts. <laughs> My first time doing something like that trying to work around the, the sweaters and the jackets and my long hair. <laughs> I hope
hope you guys have enjoyed it because I really enjoyed showing it to you, uh, showing all my things to you. And I hope that maybe by showing you all those items that it might inspire you to uh, maybe do some residential diving of your own. Uh, because if you do, you'll never know what you'll find out there. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and have a most wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.